Hey, Jolene. Let me go through some of this shit to make sure it's correct. I don't want to be giving you credit for shit you ain't did yet. <laughs> so Bitcoin. Yes, sir. That's your motherfucking thing. Yeah. And you done partnered with Cash App and everything. Everything. To create black billionaires. billionaires. You correct the nigga when he said millionaires. millionaires. We need more than a million. We need a billion to split with black children. Children. Fuck the name, get a building. Building. Take money to the ceiling. Yeah. Get your girl pregnant every month. <laughs> Whoop your son if he smoke a blunt. Yeah. Tell your daughter to go to college. Yeah. If she twerk, do it with class and some knowledge. Yeah. Keep the furniture polished. Right. Buy a couple shirts that got some few collars. <laughs> Invest all of your dollars and get some capital. Oh, that's crazy! <laughs> that's crazy! That's crazy! Yes, hey, now we drop hey, a little education hey, in there. You know what I'm saying? We ain't we gonna never disrespect nobody. You know what I'm saying? We want everybody to come along with us. Yes, sir. The drug dealers and the strippers, they got a place too. They think we're gonna get this money and turn our back on them. Right. No, no that's exactly what we created this platform. Up. Man. Because I want everybody to have <laughs> access to some of this shit that is out there. And when we have people like y'all come through on a whole nother level that ain't in the comments like you want to try to turn 200 into 50 big, mm -mm. <laughs> this legit. Welcome back to the 85 South <laughs> Show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Black excel excellence, spotlight, you know, excellence. I be saying excellence sometimes. Excellence. Yeah, excellence. Put a little enunciation on the pronunciation. A little excellence. Right. <laughs> nah, man, we in here today. We kicking it. We, you know what? I got notes today because these, these guys right here, they on some big business. And I don't want to leave out none of this big shit that we got going on today. First of all, this nigga that changed his name. Yo, you know what the name? streets is calling this nigga? <laughs> I don't even know if I want to say it. You want, you want to say it or you want me to say it? You got to say it, bro. I don't know. They calling this nigga Bitcoin Zay now. Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. Man, stay. Bitcoin Zay. <laughs> bro. And then you, you just, you keeping your shit real gangster because you yeah. want them to know who to send the money to. Right. Big Ma. Come on, bro. Yeah. This ain't your football name now. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I hoop. OK. And then my wife put this on me. Lamar <laughs> Wilson, what's That's up, my wife? Right. Now check this out. Zay, first of all, tell me a little about this book we got sitting here on our coffee table. Oh yeah, Bitcoin in Black America uh, came out 2019. Second version is out now as well. Uh, so basically showing how black people can win in the Bitcoin market and why you need Bitcoin because at a certain point you won't have a choice. So Let me stop you right there. Why do black now? people need Bitcoin? Well, for one thing, uh, everything we've done before hasn't worked. We got the same median value income since the 60s. That's what, would Mar what would happen if Martin Luther King would have had a few Bitcoins? Uh, if Martin Luther King had Bitcoin, <laughs> he probably would have ended up the same way because he would have showed how much freedom would have came. Because as soon as he started talking about money back then... That's when he got it. Two weeks later, he I was gone. I can see it now. They got digital currency coming out. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, him, Malcolm X... Black Panthers, if they had something like Bitcoin, they would have a better tool. Word. Right. Because it, at the end of the day, no matter what they did, they still had to use the current financial system. How did you get into the Bitcoin uh, market? Uh, I had a roommate. Got lucky, came home, told me about Bitcoin. A black uh, dude? White dude, actually. He worked for his Bruh. financial industry. What's his name? Because we got to shout him out. White, white people don't white, never white put us named, up on the web. White dude named Nick. Shout out to Nick. <laughs> yeah. Bruh, that could be anybody. Nick who? Uh, I don't remember his last name. <laughs> 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 right. Like I said, it was a roommate. You got to live with him. It was, it was cool. But he, he mentioned it. He talked about it at his job, uh, Charles Schwab. And uh, He worked at Charles Schwab and Charles had a roommate? Schwab. 
Bro, this economy is so fucked this up. <laughs> nigga, bro, that's a good ass job. And, and he had to stay with somebody. With me. Exactly. What so, was you doing? I was a teacher. And you had half of the rent? Three. One third. They, oh, okay. We have we have another person. This is one of them college situations where they just throw right you in with some random motherfuckers. Yeah, right after college, two dudes I knew from my, you know, from school, but. Yeah, shout out to Nick. He mentioned Did it. Did he have a weed? I hate to keep cutting y'all. It's just like when you say Nick, yeah. I just see him like trading motherfucking Bitcoin all day, hitting the bong, smoking roaches and shit, that's doing exactly white dude shit. Exactly Got PlayStation I, on yeah. pause on the other side. That's, that's, that's how I am about to look back in the day. Right. Yeah. But but Nick, he didn't get involved. He just told me about it and was like, I don't understand this shit. He was right. like, I don't know what it is. I got a tech background, so I looked into it, made sense, and then I was like, why the fuck are black people not talking about this? We because we be know what, I'm going to tell you, I, I've spoke to the black community, and a lot of the black community think that a lot of this shit is a scheme. You're right. Yeah, you're because right. we're hearing it from the wrong people. When you hear about Bitcoin, it's just, like I said, it's the spam comment. Bruh, hit me. Let's <laughs> trade some Forex and all this whole shit. But it's like, nigga, we still trying to get the paper money. Yeah. Right. So how did y'all link? So I did, so I built a wallet, right, back in the day. Like a digital? Like a, like a Bitcoin wallet. Matter of fact, at the time, we was the only wallet in the world you could get on the iOS. So from that situation, right, people started to know me. They knew Zay. So then when we came to the Black Bitcoin Summit, matter of fact, it was before that, wasn't it? Yeah. We was wait a minute. Yeah, wait Tech a minute. Lamert, oh, Tech Lamert. Tech Lamert. Yeah. Tech Lamert. Yeah. What's the Black yeah. Bitcoin Summit? Man, Sinclair Skinner. Shout out to Sinclair Skinner. He's in Zimbabwe right now, man. Shout what? Out <laughs> Bruh, this is the first stuff. episode I done had more questions than answers. Yeah, that's good. That's good, though. It's a lot of us. It's a lot of us, man. We out here. That's the thing. Like, most people don't know that black people are doing this. Like, I remember the first time I met the dude Sinclair, I was in Miami speaking on stage. Right. I come off stage, I see the most pan-African dude I've seen in a long time come up with all, you know, pan-African. He's like, what's up? Did he have on some copper jewelry? Nah. <laughs> Almost. My sackcloth, you know what I'm saying? The whole nine. Yeah. So he walked up to me and uh, he's like, man, I just saw you do your thing. Because at the time, because I was the one speaking and doing all that stuff and I had the wallet, then they would put me on stage. Right. But when you look around at the conference, it was me, Sinclair, maybe one other black dude. What year was this? This was 2015, 14, 14, 2014. <laughs> So 2013, 14 is when I got into it. He did too. Yeah, like we both got, we just, it's like our worlds, conver uh, what do you call it, converged. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, like one of them old Kung Fu flicks. You know what I'm saying? He's on one side of the world. I'm on the other side. We come together and start kicking, you know. But um, yeah, it's too much. Bit, <laughs> Let me ask you this. I ain't cutting you off. I'm following you everything. Me up, man. Check yeah. this out. So it's like, when y'all got into this 2014, 15, yeah. Is this the day y'all was waiting on when people was like, yes, man, that bro. shit gonna be big. Yes. That shit gonna be telling. Not even that. It's bigger than this. And it still got, it's yeah, still it's got a Yeah, it's bigger than this, man. I just want to light this so we can, so I can have the weed essence. No, do what you do. And then, like, the, I just didn't want to offend none of your political connects. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've been good. listening to yeah, whole. Hey, this whole thing yeah. is about free. Yeah, do what yeah you want. we don't That's deal with point. political. It's political more about, it's more about just looking out, though, because it's like, what if I blow this good backwood and then they like, Hey, 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 <laughs> that's not technical. Hey, right, we they, ain't none of that. they can't stop my shit anyway. Yeah, exactly, can't stop none of it. We free. Damn, that's bro. That's the whole thing. That's what Bitcoin do. Bitcoin and black America. So, like, what do you see? How, what kind of impact could you see this happening on the black community if, if people were to say, damn, I saw that, I'm going to fuck with it. Like, what, what, could, what kind of impact could this have? So, peep this, man. Bitcoin is the first asset that we actually have access to without going through a whole bunch of rigmarole. Like, think that about rigmarole. Think about real estate. That's <laughs> Bro, old school. That's man. old school bullshit. That's, yeah, that's old school. <laughs> so if you think about real estate, how much you got to go through to buy real estate, right? You got to go through a whole lot of humps, jumps, and all of that. Even if you got the money. Yeah, and they just now getting to the point where Robinhood opening up stocks, but that's, yeah, we know that's... They coming. don't let you buy cannabis stocks. That's what I'm saying. So it's all, these, other, stocks. It's all these hops, right? But Bitcoin allows you to basically have access to a, a, a asset that it will appreciate over time right. without having to do much or nothing but just get it, right? You can get it on Cash App. You can get it on, I'm not going to say that other one, Gemini. You can get it on Binance. You can get it hand-to-hand. -hand. Like, back in the day, that's how we used to, like, I don't know about. I did. Yeah, yeah. we used to get and it hand-to-hand. -hand. Like, we, we meet people in the coffee shop. How the fuck you get big boy in that? That's what you do. You yeah. go in the I, coffee I, shop. I used to meet people and do try to rob me, so I started going Wait, to wait. Y'all moving too fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> you have to meet yeah. and train y'all, yeah. too? Yeah. You lead up to the store. Don't just get over the store. <laughs> that's it, but that's the episode. Niggas try to rob you for some Bitcoin in person. Well, try, but <laughs> where I grew up at, you can see it from a mile away. So I started going to other places other than coffee houses. Yeah. Where you from? 
Charlotte. Okay, bet. Yeah. Charlotte, bro. Yeah, it's, Ooh, it's, motherfuckers. It's, 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 yeah. Ooh, some real hornets out there. I'm the opposite, <laughs> right? So I go in the coffee shop, and the white dude come in there. I got my hood over my head. White dude come in there. He's shaking. I say, listen, man, $1,000. I get you $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. He dropped the money on the floor. You know, like, <laughs> it's a whole dip. Like, I was on the opposite side. He must have thought he saw it coming. Yeah. You feel me? But it happened all the time to me because I'm so big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they come in like, he going to take my money. But I'm like, bro, get you a latte. We in Starbucks. Like, yeah. I'm not about to rob you in Starbucks. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm at least wait till we get outside. Yeah, exactly. In the parking lot. <laughs> in the park, like in the strip club. All right. Yeah. You know, yeah. daytime, too? Right, nah, exactly. I just came <laughs> yeah, daytime. <laughs> not daytime. Yeah. But yeah, so it was the opposite. So me and him used to get it hand to hand. And then, you know, it started getting, you started having more places to do it and it made it a lot easier. Let me ask you this. Is it too late to get in on the Bitcoin? No, sir. Because, you know, every day you look it up, they're like, Bitcoin, 38,000. Not even close. Uh, I thought I was late when I started. And honestly, (laughs) I mean, eight years ago, you know, looking at some people thought I was late. But most people, when they look at the price, they have unit bias. So they think, "Uh, 60,000 for one Bitcoin, I don't have the money. You can buy a fraction of Bitcoin for one. For two, you're buying... An asset that's scarce, meaning there's not going to be Bitcoin to go around after about 20 years. 98% of the supply is going to be gone. So what most people don't realize is you're buying something that's more valuable than real estate, more valuable than gold, more valuable than silver, uh, more valuable than anything we've seen because it's provably scarce. And long term, you can pass it down to generations. You right. don't want to look at your grandkids and they, they look at you and say, so what were you doing? What were you doing when Bitcoin was taking off back in the day? Oh, I was bullshitting and talking about... You know, I'm gonna get my goddamn face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you grip them. That's what I was doing. You don't, you don't want to Bitcoin. You, don't want you like a damn Bitcoin. I'm gonna Bitcoin your ass. You don't get no watching dishes. Bite your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly what you're trying to explain. Motherfucker, this motherfucker asked me what I was doing when they were selling Bitcoin. <laughs> Go to bed! Hell, I bought this house. Ain't need no goddamn Bitcoin. Hey, credit. Fuck oh y'all. Oh, my God, what? I'm sick of your grandma, too. Big head bitch. I, I'm just talking in the future. I don't know how to, I might not right, be that angry. Right. They gonna see this episode, though. But dig this. Yeah. Y'all walk me through the process of, yeah. of buying some Bitcoin. It's, man, the 85% of have great jobs, and they are very intelligent people, mm-hmm. and they hood, too. So they might not know the exact process. So, like, as a team, as a unit, right. give me the game the way you would be giving it to your partners. Like, okay, right. layman's terms. So look, don't get too technical. Black people <clears throat> got cash out. First For some of all, reason, no white people have cash out. I don't know how that works. That's because they own it. They have they cash. Got, they got, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Venmo. Yeah, they have, they, have ca- cash. they have actual cash. Got you, got you. So cash out, right, we, doing, we working with them right now to help get Bitcoin in the hands of people. So it's real easy on the cash out. It's like the fourth icon. Yeah, my man right there. Go and hit back. That's all you got to do. The fourth icon on the cash app, you just hit that icon that says Bitcoin. You hit buy, you buy it. That's it. Dollar or two, whatever you feel like spending. Dollar or two, 50 cent, it don't matter. Okay, now how you Matter of fact, your, hold on, you got cash out? How you get your return? Let, yeah. me, send, let me send you something while we talking. Buy man, you wait. fuck around and send me some, some Bitcoin right now. Right now. I will was, put you in my blood, bro, I'm sending it right now. No, I'm I mean, we will. No, I'm dead serious. We're going to We both send you some Bitcoin. Bullshit. I'm dead serious, too. I'll have the... Here, I'm going to let you put it in. Yeah, exactly. Get cash out. I ain't going to say my cash out because I had... No, I'm going to let you type it in. I had to change it because... Some, too many people kept requesting money from me. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> and, and you know what else? Outside of outside of just buying it, you can earn it. Right. That's another yeah. thing. People yeah. think they have to buy it. Nah, you can earn it for doing what you already do. Right. For example, there's an app called Lolly. L O L L I. Lolly. If, if you, you say buy, their name, you better make sure they holler at you because you. They you already do, have. So. Okay. Yeah. They, they already, already did. So what Lolly. I'm saying is, if you can't buy it, if you already buy stuff, they have a thousand plus stores that you can buy from, for example, Postmates, Sephora, Nike, Microsoft, doesn't matter. You buy something, you get cash rewards in the form of Bitcoin. So even if you have a spending problem, for me, I buy too much Postmates. But every time I buy Postmates, I get 3.5% cash back in Bitcoin for doing nothing. So the 300 or so I spent on Postmates last year is 2,000 something. And I didn't do anything except buy Postmates and then get cash rewards in Bitcoin. So even if you don't buy it, you can earn it. And then once you get it, wait a minute, store it. This this dude got a motherfucking verified cash app. We the like person, a blue check. We the first in the world, right? Yeah, look. Nigga, y'all not just about to come in here <laughs> breaking grounds and acting like it's... Look, that's black history. No, but let me... <laughs> <laughs> no, this shit... No, no, no bro, listen, though. No, y'all too talking. humble. I don't like that shit. Let me tell you something, though, folks. <laughs> so we the first per- people in the world that, is, that are able to send Bitcoin directly to a cash tag. 
And what happens is I'm like the big vampire. Okay. So when I send it to you, now you're able to send Bitcoin to a cash tag. Now what I'm supposed so to do with it? just keeps on going. Hold on to it. So I'm going to tell you. Hold on. If you had an opportunity, right, to buy a piece of Manhattan in the 1700s, knowing what you know right now, if you had an opportunity to buy an acre of it, right, you probably, if you had an opportunity to buy a two below Mississippi or an acre in Manhattan, which way are you going to buy it? Let's say that first. First of all, <laughs> I'm from saying. Mississippi. I know that. So I know that that acre in Tupelo is bigger than that acre in New York. I was just like, <laughs> no, but, you but I'm saying. You so know. which one are you going to get? Shit, that's a, you going to ask me a question? Yeah. A rhetorical question? No, it's, okay, I, so buy, it's I buy Manhattan. Right. Because I Manhattan. can just get that little part where they got the Applebee's So peep this. Knowing what you know right now, right? Bro, I can't even talk to you that <laughs> Now, but knowing what you know right now. <laughs> really, bro. So knowing what you know right now. If you had an opportunity to buy that acre, would you have sold it in the 1800s? Knowing what you know right now. Damn, you mean to tell me I left? I lived 100 years. 100 years, bro. And I'm still making still my own decisions. You're, you're a witch. You're a warlock. I'm selling it. Fuck them kids. <laughs> I live to be 100. Yeah. I need cash before I go. I'm letting that go. You think no, I'm but keeping it. that in the family? Fuck them. I don't even know them folks. But it's, but it's, I'm 100 years old. I got Alzheimer's. I done forgot everybody. I'm selling it. Why would I leave something to oh, the strangers? Man. No. Okay. <laughs> no, just like, hey, no. I yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You, your yeah. great grandson's yeah. a fucker. I'm not yeah. leaving the family yeah. name. Money. His name got to be Earl. You know what I'm saying? My wife's brother tried to fuck me out the property. <laughs> <laughs> that was early. That was in the 1720s. It hadn't even matured yet. But look, man, look. <laughs> so look. So since you know Manhattan is worth more now. Okay. If you could continue to accumulate, if you could put Manhattan on layaway, put five dollars on it, they give you a little bit more of Manhattan over and over again. Right. You would do that every single week. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Because they ain't making no more Manhattan. Same way they ain't making no more Bitcoin. There's only going to ever be 21 million Bitcoin. Like my man Zay said, it's provably scarce. So if it's something that's provably scarce, the only thing you need to do is accumulate it, hold on to it, because the moment you give it away, somebody else gonna suck it up. Bro, you got me checking my cash app again. <laughs> if you got Let's some see. more you don't want, I'll take hey, it. Hey man, look. Help you ain't send me shit. You got quiet. You stingy. <laughs> I'm trying to be rich by yourself. I got you. I got you, bro. He, he got it all. No, you got some, too. You yeah. got a whole ass book and ain't got any shit. You, you probably want me to you buy the book now. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I need a free book. And the cash. Yeah. He gonna give you, yeah. He I don't got trust more. this nigga, bro. He got knowledge. When you was over there doing, well, bro, what's your cash app? He ain't even trying to look at people. I know he said he gonna get you. <laughs> I'm he gonna give it to everybody. If everybody. I ain't asked you to give everybody yeah, yeah. nothing. That's, That's cutting into what you could have gave me. <laughs> they not gonna hear asking gonna you how you came up. Real. Gonna Just gonna real. give it to him because they came. I gotta have his back though. It's man, listen. See, this how niggas act with money involved. So you gonna get him something and ain't give me nothing at all. No, yeah. but that's the thing, like, Zay, like, what we did is crazy, because right now, we're the biggest Bitcoin club on Clubhouse. And it's just two of y'all. No, yeah, it's... <laughs> What's the team looking, looking like? It's us, man. This is what had happened. I literally said, Zay... I'm going to let you know something. I'm going to give you some secrets that you yeah. might not know. Tell me, bro. Two don't never do it. You got to have a third. But here's... No, that's what I'm going to tell you. Right now, <laughs> I'm coming out, listen. <laughs> Look at the 85 South Show. It's three of them. It ain't two. There's been plenty, plenty of duos. Trio no, last he's, forever. He's solo though. Nigga, the three musketeers, they fought to the end. Didn't nobody go solo. <laughs> Alvin in the chip, Mark. <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm going to get you two though. Outcast, who was the third? Nigga, CeeLo. <laughs> Brian Barber. Hey, now nah, that's real. See, you two, two yeah, is cool. Two is, two is all right. But two niggas going to fall out. So you got to need one motherfucker we who ain't got nothing to do out. with it. Let me tell you what happened. It wasn't even no plan. All I said was, Zay, we've been doing this for a while. We should get on, didn't I? I said, we've mm. been trying to educate black people about this since forever. I got a video with me looking like Captain Caveman on YouTube right now from 2013 with a speaking say in the background right. trying to tell people about Bitcoin. Like, real talk. That's how it was on Georgetown Street, Lexington. You know what I'm saying? So we've been trying to do it. I said, Zay, I said, bro, Clubhouse is popping. I, I can see it. And I said, we need to make a group called the Black Bitcoin Billionaires. And listen, this is how you know when it's real. All he says, all right. With no plan. You need a partner like that. Right. We just be with the shit sometimes. That's all he said. All right. <clears throat> we ready to roll. We My bad. Roll. I fuck with you again. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm saying. You still standing though. Know. He said, I, when he said, I, right, we just went, started educating people. And the thing is, is that the way we go about doing it, shout out to Miss Naja, Fred, Black Regal, Crypto Quavo. Like, we I like these squad. names. Shaler, I can Dr. see that's on Cash App. Yeah, all day, man. Somebody hit up Crypto Quavo. <laughs> hey, hit him up, man. Hit him up. Nah, but Quavo, you need to know. Yeah, he was going to yeah. come here. He got the green Lambo. You'll see him. 
when you go on that little he, he, he was coming. It's too big. I mean, if he I had a limbo, coming. I'm not just I didn't just tell him. To... That's my problem. He, he got mad. He's like, you didn't even tell me going today because I didn't tell him we was doing this. Cause I, you know, embargo. I don't want right. to give up the, you know what I'm the saying? The sauce. Yeah, I didn't want to be like, are oh, we going to be on 85 South and y'all cut the episode because my stomach's showing? No, we're not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's been messed up. So. We're not going to do that. Even if it was. If it was it's not, not but it's, it's beautiful, beautiful, though. It's your, that's your business. Yeah, but it's <laughs> so, your business, bro. But here's the thing, though. So we got this whole team, and we just met most of these people on there. Oh, my bad. Granny Crypto, she's 73. Had Bitcoin 2017. Everybody talking about Elon Musk and, and all these cats that got Bitcoin now. Mm -hmm. Granny Crypto had crypto in, to a Bitcoin in 2017, did not sell that whole time. Yeah. So who's 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 more of a genius? The people that got on now are Granny Crypto that got in in 2017. Granny Crypto. Right. And Granny yeah. Crypto's out here teaching the baby boomers. Right. So we got people for everybody teaching people how to do this Bitcoin thing because we've seen how it has appreciated 200% over the last, two, what, annualized over the last 10 years. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Bro, let me ask you this again, Zay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Young black dude, you say your background is tech, man. How did you get in the tech world before all the Bitcoin and everything? Both uh, of y'all. Yeah. Well, sort of on accident uh, in high school, learning about it, seeing it in high school from blogging, learning how to build websites, getting into IT after college because teaching wasn't paying shit. So learning about IT. What was your teacher? I was teaching uh, computer science and game development. You should teach the teachers how to take their teacher check and then get some Bitcoin. Man, I've been, been doing, I've, I've been doing that. That's what I, I feel like you was the black dude who used to run down the hallway like this, though. <laughs> For some reason, though. Nah, that's the thing. It was like, I'm teaching kids, but they not making no money. <laughs> what is wrong with Isaiah? <laughs> Leave me alone. I have karate practice. <laughs> for a tournament tonight with Goku. What? I don't know, it's my map, it's the week. <laughs> you ran down the hallway. Not at all. Not in high school, not when I was teaching, but. I'm teaching, just fucking yeah, with I you, know, man. I know, but teaching the students, you, you see long term that a lot of them, they're not getting taught shit, and they tell you what to teach. That shit, oh, it yeah, don't matter they, no they, more. They're sitting in the classroom, The curriculum need to be updated. Yeah, so, I still teach now, but it's just not public school. I'm about they, to be they, one they, of your they, students. They, they killed any innovation, any thoughts you can do, because they give I'm you a comedian, you gonna tell me? They, they, they kill all the jokes, oh, they make you not wanna be creative, and then as soon as you get like, a, a, a one third of some new groundbreaking shit, it's a hundred motherfuckers trying to do it with you. Yes, That's sir. not even your friend. Yeah. And then they act like they don't fuck with you, but you really be their biggest inspiration. Mm -hmm. Bro, we was just talking about yeah, this. Just talking, yeah. <laughs> we was talking about I just don't like how motherfuckers, like, like they fuck yeah. with what you do, but then they try to act like they don't fuck with you. Damn, that was poetic. Yeah, they cool. fuck with what you do, but act like they don't fuck with yeah, you. Comedy game dirty, so. That's a hook right there. That's a hook. I want Jay-Z on it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially out in LA. So look, we on the platform and we talking about this, and I'm really interested because, you know, I've been trying to, you know, get my billions up. I sell everything that I touch. I got my own hand sanitizer. Right. I got a nigga that'll read that book to you. <laughs> <laughs> I will read that. You ever did the audio book yet? Mm -hmm. uh, you ain't recorded You ain't even call me. Could let me get that little voice over work. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do the second one? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Because I feel like I'm more oh, believable. Because be by the time the second one come out, I'll be done made some Bitcoin money. You got it already. Yeah, you already got I it. I know, but I'll be buying weed and shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Send me an invoice. Let's How you, um... Carlos on the second one. How, like, what y'all ladies say about, like, the women that's involved with your life? Like, my, you say you got a wife, I don't know. My lady's sitting right there. She right there yeah, picking right the game up, too? Yeah, Is she, she active? Yeah, she ain't really active. She let me do my thing. But she, she's into Bitcoin, though. You know what I'm saying? She got to be. You know what I mean? The whole, here's the thing. My whole family into it. My daughter, she got into it earlier than my boys. How old is and your daughter? She's uh, 16 now. But when, she, when, the dip, when the dips happen, my daughter running there and be like, Pops, I gave you 50 on your cash app. Give me some more Bitcoin. That's her, right? That's what, that's how she be. She be on that. My sons, they started doing what's called dollar cost averaging, which is what we tell people to do. So, like, I was talking to a young lady. I said, she said, man, I ain't got no money for no Bitcoin. I said, I bet you do. I said, what you spend money on that you basically don't need? Coochie wax. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's pointless. That's a waste of money. You right, though. Coochie hit different with Helen. Uh, bro, I, listen. I just wanted to throw Coochie in the Bitcoin listen. conversation. I, I just said you right. We getting Coochie I just cash. said you right out loud. Though. I tried to jump to the Coochie, make the Coochie laugh. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know what she said, though? 
<laughs> she said she spent too much money on crabs. She said she eat $50 worth of crabs a week. I said, $50? She said, yeah. I said, look, take $7, go get you some imitation crab, and take the rest of that and put it on Bitcoin. You had the best of both worlds. And so she went and started putting money in Bitcoin, because that's what it is. Like, we spend a lot of money on a lot of, you know, random stuff, Starbucks and all this other stuff, when you can be mm -hmm. taking a little bit of it and saving, and dollar cost averaging, which means buying the same amount over the same interval. Like so this is a long-term investment. That's long what I was going to ask you. Bro, like, it's not some quick flip. Right, no, that's no what I was going to ask you. Like, be rich you know what? Somebody going to buy some, but they're going to want, you know, we'll get the trip. Yeah. Like, how do you get your money? How do you get your return? Well, right. this is a change of mindset, too. You got to change the way you think about what money is. Because the current money system, you think, all right, I made some dollars. I got money. Not really. Your money is getting stolen without a gun every day because every day. of inflation. And it's built into the system, unfortunately. We live in a system where inflation is literally a part of the system. So your purchasing power this year is less than next year. Yeah. Which is why your grandfather could have a job and your grandmother didn't have to worry. You have a house, a car, and a family. Now you got two incomes and people can barely afford an apartment because of inflation. So with Bitcoin, it's the opposite. Deflationary. Right. Your purchasing power <clears throat> increases over time. That's the difference. And black people who want to improve themselves long term, why would you not use a monetary policy that increases your purchasing power long term? J-O-N, play me something we can get money to. Like, now I need some, some links and some, some, some online materials where people yep. can get the whole story, the whole backdrop. Like, so you turn it down just to taste. Cause they don't play loud music at the bank. Black America, right? BitcoinandBlackAmerica.com. He got version two coming out. I'll let you go on and do that. Definitely. Yeah. Bitcoin and Black America. First version is out. Second version is available for pre-order. Voiced over by me. I'm doing the audio. Second book. version, we got Carlos. Charging in the strength. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need to have a Bitcoin comedy show, actually. No, that's what I told him, man. You, you really ain't gonna wanna do it with me though, because yeah, I, I know y'all got money. Yeah, I wanna do it. And, and my fee gonna be ridiculous. I got you. That's fine. But the return. It's crazy. Make it as disrespectful as possible. Yeah, I don't want that soft ass shit. What you mean? Have you ever seen me doing some soft ass shit? Never. But what? I'm saying, no. just make it. That's why I want a Bitcoin comedy show. That's why I want you. Really? It's disrespectful. Well, how do you see it? What's your line? How do I see it? Yeah. I see because you. I can. My disrespect is. It, I can be real specific. What's his lineup? Who? who, you I see, who I you see, wait, 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 wait. We don't discuss other people. Like, saying, when I, we talk I, about I, me I, and I, comedy, look, you don't want to give me the lineup I'm, already. I'm, we gotta I get. Follows, I am an independent contractor. Look. Now I cannot speak for what's. <laughs> Here's the thing. Look. Who's gonna pay you? You gotta come up with the lineup. It's Carlos. Look, Carlos Miller's Bitcoin comedy show. I didn't know that it was me plus. I, you know who I'm bringing. Okay. If, if it's if that's the case. That's what I'm saying. Right. Yep. Oh. I got plenty of hitters. I got hitters in every corner. That's it. That's what I in need. In every That's city. It That's don't matter where I am. Yeah. I'm plugged into the comedy nation. Right. right. But how do, how disrespectful, like, is there something specific that you want? Like, disrespected? Anybody that's offended, if you're a grown man, you offended, Disrespect you want to offend grown men? That is so easy. Because a lot of these dudes don't the even have paper man, towels yeah, at the here, house. You and you tell them to buy Bitcoin. Buy paper towels and matching wash rags. What if you fuck around and manage to get a young lady at the crib? What's she gonna wash with? You over there wiping your dick off on Nike sweatpants. <laughs> don't, don't look Just at me like funny. I've been a nigga my whole life, whole longer life. than you. So I know the type of petty shit you're doing. Oh, Niggas they ain't even cleaning their fingernails, bro. If you ain't got that, wipe it off on the baby coat. Come on. I like how on you think. On the thinking. baby coat. I like how you thinking, man. Big Ma. Yes, sir. Tell them what they need to know, man, before we get ready to wrap this yes, up, bro. We gotta, they definitely got to go to blackbitcoinbillionaire.com. What we have right now is a Satoshi Millionaire Challenge. This, hold up, before you yep. even go even further. Yes, sir. This is too organic. I need y'all to come back. Okay. Like, I, I feel like this is, I feel like this is like some shit we do on the regular now. Yeah. Like, because this is so organic and yeah. happening in the moment. Like, y'all got to keep us updated. We going to start... Sure. We're gonna get with y'all and see if we can get our team together and start getting some Bitcoin on, like, on the 85 South Show business joint. <clears throat> Cause that's what this is, right? This is the black, your, black excellence. I'm gonna get your audience, listen to what I'm saying. We got enough Bitcoin to give away that we try to get your audience free Bitcoin. And the way we're doing that is a Satoshi Millionaire Challenge. The same way we gave you that Bitcoin, that's on behalf of the Bitcoin, Black Bitcoin Billionaires Club. Because that's what we do. It was the Billionaire's Club? Yeah. You should have gave me some more then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I ain't trying to be greedy, but man, but y'all exactly. got a lot but, of but money. But we got to give it to everybody, right? 
Well, so tell them, they can go, you they still can, got my shit in your phone? Yes, sir. Tell I'm, them, when you, you get over there, tell them. Blackbitcoinbillionaire.com. Sign up on the site. Hit join. When you come back, because it's going to send you to verify your email. When you come back, hit Satoshi Millionaire. What's going to happen is you're going to fill out that form at the top and put your cash app in there. We have ambassadors that are helping us out. Shout out to y'all. We got about 100 ambassadors that help us get the, the Bitcoin to the people using the vampire trick I was talking about where it allows you to send the cash tag. So tell your audience to go to blackbitcoinbillionaire.com. If right. they on Clubhouse, look up Black Bitcoin Billionaire Club because, like I said, we the top. That's what we got to talk about a little bit more, too. Yeah, the things y'all got people. going on on Clubhouse. Yeah. I feel like that's a big part of this. Uh, yeah, we. I think we the first, some of the first people to get. Y'all the first niggas to be the first <laughs> niggas, yeah, boy. Real, yeah, real talk. We, but y'all gonna fuck around and get nominated it. for an 85 South Award. <laughs> for real. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey. Right? Y'all was out here doing it like that, bro. Right. Hey, I would definitely, I would put that up on the mantle, bro. And like, the one thing that I yeah. appreciate, though, the most about y'all black men that I'm talking to right here yeah. is that I'm speaking to y'all in a way that only black men speak. So y'all know exactly the type of appreciation and admiration that I'm yeah. showing you through the way niggas communicate. And we all from the South. That's exactly. Right? You feel what I'm yeah, saying? So when I say shit like that, I hope, you know, it's yeah. going to be some people out there like, Los, you cutting them off. I'm like, no, bitch, I'm going deeper. I'm trying to get <laughs> The information oh, yeah. that's deeper than the surface, because yeah. it's normal to y'all. Yeah. And he still ain't telling me how the white dude almost robbed him. Yeah. <laughs> nah, ain't no Or the black dude wrong. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. you said the dude tried to fake rob you in person. Yeah. 2014, trying to meet somebody to buy uh, Bitcoin. He was around the corner. I pulled up early, like I usually do. Right. To see what was going on. Saw him, saw what was going on. He was talking to somebody that was trying to catch me around the other way. Got out of there. From that point, only met people either in a uh, bank lobby or in front of police station. The coffee shops. Once you, you start getting in Bitcoin enough. You yeah. bold. A black man meeting somebody in front, in front of the police, police station. station. <laughs> He's serious about his Bitcoin. Like I said, yeah. as far as safe places, you got to do what you got to do. Clubhouse. 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 I tell you, Clubhouse, man, here's the thing. A lot of people, they find it to be a capping place. What made you pick right. that platform? We, I didn't pick it. It picked me. <laughs> like, real talk. Dude said, Ma. What you been doing on Facebook, you need to get on Club. It's the same thing how this happened. What you need, what you doing on Facebook, you need to do on Clubhouse, educating the people. I was like, all right, I'm going to jump over. They say, you'll love it. I jump in there, I start seeing, like, this is a way for us to reach people. Because Clubhouse, Clubhouse and Cash App were the two blackest apps on your phone for a very long time. Clubhouse was extremely black. Cash App is extremely black. See? You didn't think about that. Wait a minute. Drop, the, drop minute. one in. Stop, stop, stop. Very black. Stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Cash App. Cash app helped the hood, bro. Bro, the hood needed that one. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Clubhouse is helping the hood because we getting black people with Bitcoin in their hand because we able to reach them. And what we noticed real quick, though, uh, Los, I noticed when I started doing it before I talked to Zay, I was like, man, all of these people are coming in here and they getting the wallet, like immediately. Right, you know right. how hard it is to get somebody to get a wallet? They getting the cash out and they're like, oh, okay, got it. So I hit Zay up and said, I was like, man, we need to do a black Bitcoin billionaire. Game over. When we started doing it, it started growing rapidly. But one of the things, when I said we the first, we probably some of the first people. Number one, we have a whole club sponsor right now, like a title sponsor. Like how Miami Heat are trying to find somebody else to name it. We got a club sponsor right now that got the title paid. We sell each one of the rooms, right? And then we don't call them a sponsorship. We call them a supportership because we ain't trying to sell nothing. These CEOs be in our uh, audience, and they hit me up in the background and say, Ma, I really want to support. I see what y'all doing. Bruh, we got CEOs me? in our comments, too, but they laughing at pussy jokes. Right. They're not even <laughs> offering me no opportunities. No, they need to hit you up. I'm using this platform yeah, they need to hit you up. I'm on here yeah. every week making them laugh at fucking disrespectful right. shit. And nobody like, Los, Nigga, what's your cash down? No, that's what they really need something. to do, though, because if they My see you doing needing it, shit. If they seeing what you're doing, they should support it, and that's and that They're not supporting me, Big Ma. We, hey, listen, what camera am I supposed to be looking Pick at? Pick one. Look, I bought check these. Out. We listen, bought these. And let me, somebody let me explain some camera or something. If you're a CEO and you're watching this right now, and you don't understand the value that 85 South brings, after watching them all of these different times, remember, black people make culture. And if black people make culture, that means they move mountains. And if they move mountains, that means they can move your product. So make sure... You hit up the 85 South Show and make sure you support them because they supporting the people. And once you understand that, you understand what this whole thing is about. I and feel like exactly they'll believe you. Real talk. 
They're gonna, they, they gonna believe you. Cause you a big dude. You I've been saying it as a little dude. That's what it is. And they like, That's what it is. and then when you say it, they be like, all right, big mom. All right, all right. All right. I'm, I'm gonna send him something. I'm gonna send him something. I got you. Hey, I got, got you, bro. Yeah. Hey, man, send a little nigga something. Right. Right. Get a little right. nigga's ball back. It's just time for equity, man. That's all it is. Like, nah. They gotta, they gotta, it ain't about the equality no more. It's about equity. It's but see, about, you know like what? And another thing about it is like, yeah. we don't never use yeah. this. We don't never use our is. platform to just promote ourselves like that. We really, right. we really do this for, for the, the love of the game. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like we try to bring other people on and let them shine. That's already thriving, like you said. That need that, the platform. Right. So if we got the loudest microphone, shit, we want some good shit to come out of there too. Not saying that the comedy ain't good shit. Not it's great. just that we want people to know. That is other ways and avenues to get out of whatever situation that you're trying to get out of or right. trying to be in. And there's people out here taking chances and, you know, creating platforms that's mm -hmm. giving out information right. that, you know, you could possibly use. Some news you could use. Right. True. Yeah. We just need to get y'all over the clubhouse with us, man. Man, we'll yeah. come on that shit. Well, we but I ain't want to just come, you know, just to be on another comedian on the oh, platform. Oh, I had oh. to come over there and tell him, hey, Bitcoin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, we get you that. Man. Put your nipples on the screen. I give you two bitcoins. <laughs> With the boosie of bitcoin. Hey, <laughs> bitcoin boosie. Who's trying name? to bust it open for one eighth of right, an eighth of an eighty eighth? A satoshi. You gotta say satoshi. A satoshi. Yes. Yeah, I know a girl named Satoshi with the fat. <laughs> She's from Michigan. <laughs> but she might be from Wisconsin. Uh. She, I think she's from Wisconsin. Did she say A? But I met, I met her in Michigan. I think, I don't know. Something about them OSHAs. It's a lot of them. <laughs> What'd you say her name was? <laughs> I said, did she say A? Did she like, A? Did she do that? She black. She black. That don't mean nothing. It do. Nah, you know country girls in Mississippi sound like they from across the other railroad track. I know country girls from Mississippi that sound like they from London. See, that's what I'm saying. That's how they talk. Yeah, I can't do it. This that shit, that I that promise you. <laughs> no, it's not even that. It's, it's, I don't know. They got their <laughs> own little shit. <laughs> I'm telling you. Mississippi is a very strange place. People think it's one way, but it's not, it's not bro. Good. Like, no, that's really do you understand that Mississippi is so small that nothing is the same? Like, there is no such thing as a group of people in Mississippi. It's just us. <laughs> <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Like, I be trying to put it in perspective for people. Like, mm -hmm. think about the first time you went outside, like, mm -hmm. as a child. The, the first time, the motherfuckers you met on the first day you went outside. Right. These are the people you graduate with. Like, you see Same everybody people. literally Something every day. I, I grew up in a town in a city where I knew every single person, black and white. But this is some shit I didn't realize that I got grown. I didn't know what none of the white people lived. Uh, like, if I pulled up, even if we went to their neighborhood, I couldn't tell you where their house was. Mm -hmm. We live in two totally different worlds. Right. Yeah. Right. It was crazy that we live in a city so small and had a whole totally different yeah, experience. It wasn't even separated like that. It was just like certain areas where it was just us and then them. Yeah. Like, we knew around and about where they stayed, but we couldn't specifically go to their house. I couldn't anyway. Right. I ain't know them like that. Until I was like, you know, I got grown and I was like, damn, I really, I know these folks and saw them every day, but once the school know. bell rung, I didn't run into these folks like that too, too, too much, you know what I'm saying? It's the networks, right? That's why we had to start Black Big Point Big Enough, because otherwise, black people are not going to get it directly from people that, are, that recognize where they're from. Like, what do you know? think the biggest misconception about black wealth is, both of y'all? That it doesn't exist. Shit, we sit in Atlanta. Yeah, exactly. Black wealth everywhere. You go to PG County, DC, shout out my people. Let's make it more micro than that. We yeah. sitting on the 85 South couch, right? Mm -hmm. Like I've seen y'all go from Lil B studio, sitting mm -hmm. in Steve Hardy studio to this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I seen y'all go to that. So that's yeah. black wealth. Like I mean, it's a it's a growth, right? Like y'all, y'all. Oh, don't try to job. blame us. We don't. We don't have no wealth. Y'all hey. <laughs> see? Hold on, hold on. Is they like, see all these people in here? All these people in here. You done the hard. All these, all these people fact. got, got making money with y'all. That's wealth, man. Nigga, man, we working. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing, bro. Yeah. That's, you right. That's a beautiful. I'm thing. not. I'm. You right. Everybody I'm, ain't doing that. You, you right. Know what I'm saying. You are right. 
And then when you see where it starts. But they could. So now, yeah. They could. You the don't, only you don't thing because you in it. The only but. thing that people are afraid of is that period of time where you're not making money. Exactly. And they don't understand, oh, like, man, when you open a business, even if you boom in that first day, you still ain't made no money yet. Can I break something down to you? You can. Peep I is, hope you do. Peep this. You know a redwood tree, right? Yeah. Biggest tree, the big, one of the biggest trees. If you plant an acorn of, a, of a, a redwood tree, you know how long it take before you get more acorns? Um, other seeds, I should say? 12 years. Mm. So think about that. If I say, I give you this thing, this seed for a dollar, you put it in the ground, but you're not going to see no more seeds for 12 years. Would you buy it from me? Probably not, right? Because you're like, man, it's too long. It take too much. I'm trying to get this money. I'm trying to flip this money real quick. But let me give you 12 years, and in 12 years, that same tree produced 300,000 seeds a year until you think how long they live. Right. So now that's what wealth is. All that time that it's growing, you might not be getting no seeds. But when it's time for you to reap the harvest, you're going to get harvest after harvest after right. harvest after harvest after harvest after harvest. Right? But that's, that's what, what I, it takes to run I a business. I preach man. that on this platform. Yeah, yeah. Bitcoin time. is 12 years old. Yeah, Bitcoin yeah. is 12 years old. So man. This, this so happens. That's what right. I'm saying. Think what about that. Yes, sir. But see, that's what I be saying on here. It's that little period of, of you know, yeah, figuring out the business and the growth and the, right. the wait for the return. It ain't like no storms gonna that come. That talk and, people and how to do shit. Too. Yeah, yeah, it ain't exactly. like no storms gonna come. It ain't like no fire gonna come through the wood right. and almost take you out. Right. But as long as you still there, when you get to that 12th year and you're able to start to reap the harvest, it's gonna be a harvest for you and everybody else. That's the whole thing. Right. You know what I mean? Well, so if you just keep doing what y'all doing, man, that's why I watched y'all from the beginning. Thank you. Because I saw the hustle. Appreciate the grind, it. When you, when you figured out what a podcast was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, Bruh, this still, we still figuring it out. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate y'all doing that. Because, like, my kids, they in here, right? They watch y'all. You know what I'm saying? Do like, you your kids? Yeah, you know what you Bruh, said. I thought they was a rap group. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> one of them rap, one of them do rap. What's your son, what you say when your son yeah. just had the little Gucci right here in the when, front? Are you talking about the, uh, yeah, the, the dreads? The Gucci. When he started with it, because here's the whole thing. Like, I always say do what you want, man. Yeah. Like, do it, like... It's what, that's what life's about, man. If I'm sitting there telling you what to do, it ain't life no more. Like, it's me controlling you. Like, do what you need. As long as you ain't hurt nobody and ain't killing nobody, man, do it. Be you. Yeah. Look, I wear flip-flops in the winter. That's me. You a I'm big dude, though. Yeah, that's big dude shit. <laughs> Y'all don't even get motherfucking cold. No, your feet don't get cold. You got all that weight hanging on. hot. Hot <laughs> <laughs> good motherfucker. Hot. Oh, man. <laughs> I want to get some chicken or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you ain't bring your big dude towel and just oh, throw it on. I need one. Yeah, I'm already hot. Yeah, yeah, Nephew, yeah. get you one of the real. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, thank man. you, man. Yeah, just... Where can they find y'all online? Though? Yeah. Uh, uh, Twitter, Bitcoin Zay, um, BitcoinandBlackAmerica.com, daily show, The Gentleman of Crypto, yes, sir. weekly show, Community Crypto. Yeah. You can find me everywhere at Big Mar, B I G M A R H. The H is because my daddy say Ma. So that's why I say Ma. Yeah, Ma. <laughs> Let my grandma show that drinking water. Yes. <laughs> why old people say it. shit like that? That drink, some of that drinking water. <laughs> like, I ain't, ain't other water for drinking. Right. Like yeah. <laughs> Not no bathing water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can find me everywhere at Big Ma, B I G M A R H on all social media. And then Black Bitcoin Billionaire. Not with the S, blackbitcoinbillionaire.com, because it's it's individual to you, so you can believe, you know what I'm saying? So you can manifest it in yourself every time you come to the site. So hey man. that's where you find us, bro. Much success to you, brothers. Big salute, man. Y'all got the cash app jumping, Bitcoin jumping. Uh, we keeping these books. It's non-negotiable. Because hey, you didn't give me no me. Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I, about to I, I give you some right here. Nah, but on some real shit, we appreciated that, man. If you, so you, I want them signed, bro. Just, just about to, cause you might fuck around and be the Black Jeff Bezos or something, and then you fuck around, leave here, jump your shit off even more, become a trillionaire. Then I can't reach you no more. Nah, we gonna bring Sell you with Sell that shit on eBay. Y'all coming with us? You doing, you, you doing the second bit? No, no, real talk. No, y'all coming with us, bro? Man, like real talk. Man. Yeah, y'all gonna need some. Y'all gonna need press and media. So get the billions. Real. Then give me one, because I want to be a black billionaire comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the first to do that. Uh, I don't know if they have a black billionaire comedian, but this is the start. So yeah, one day do it, man. you'll that's see cool. me on the billionaire's channel that's only for rich people. So. <laughs> trying to get out as much of this free shit as I can. I got you.
<laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm fucking hilarious to me. Um, <laughs> and that's just how I feel. Bro, my stomach hurt, bro. You just, that's, I burn calories. Nigga, I your stomach calories. hurt. We better call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, <laughs> Big Ma in here. Come help Big Ma. <laughs> Oh shit, we got oh, Erica man. the Duchess back there. You better leave. She like big dudes and shit. <laughs> hey, Eric, I was just saying, hey, so they'll know you was here while we was doing this, trying to keep you in the game. That's how you look out for your folks when they around. Hey man, y'all make sure y'all keep supporting the black excellence. Thank you, man. Excellence. Uh, Bitcoin billionaires. <laughs> Grab this book. I don't have to because I got this one. 85 South Show. Bit more. Thank you, man. Bitcoin, my man, man. Yeah, Y'all in the family, bro. That's up. Bro, we're going to have to put, like, at least, you know, they got the coin coin. Yeah, we're going to yeah. put one on the wall. We're going to get you, we gonna get you Even if it's just man. a replica of one, we'll yeah. do that. Oh, yeah. yeah we, got we might be able to NFT these, too. So yeah, we'll exactly. Talk about that. Oh, yeah. We'll talk, we'll talk about, about that later. We got other uh, shit that we're going to get into because we ain't talked about the cannabis or the yeah. CBD or none of that. Mm-hmm. That's why y'all got to come back because it's so many things so much, that man. have to be discussed. Thank you, man. Most, most definitely, man. Yeah. 85 South Show, the coldest podcast. The coldest black excellence. I don't care what nobody's saying. We going to make it. And I'll see you when we do. Hey, thank you. No, hey, that was fun, man. <laughs> hey, that was fun, man. I don't hey, deserve you, company as good as yo. Man, that was fun, bro. <laughs>